Now the lantern is from our crisp days of fall SVG kit. And while it actually comes with a pre-designed element in the little window of the lantern, we also include a blank template so that you can take and basically add whatever you want to the lantern to give it your own personal feel. You can customize this for any holiday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day, whatever you want to do. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import one of the pieces of the lantern. Um, so we're going to go into File, Import, or you can just click on this Import button here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to the main folder here for the crisp days of fall. Okay, and in there we'll see the SVG files. We're going to go under the oak leaf lantern. And you'll notice that you have the plain lantern that already has the design in the little window there. So we need to go into the extras folder. And in the extras folder, you'll see where we find the blank template. Okay, there it is. You can see that there's nothing in this little window. We've also included this blank plain lantern for users that have a six by 12 mat or a smaller mat. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna select this one here, double click to open. Okay, and here it is on my mat. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the element that I'm going to weld onto this. Okay. Now the process is going to be exactly the same for both parts of the lantern. Okay. I'm just going to import the other one and I'm going to put it off to the side for now. Okay. So I have this one here. I'm going to go ahead and find uh, the little spider that I'm going to add to this. Okay. Okay. So here's the cobweb underscore corner one dot SVG file. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to size him to three inches wide. So I'm going to go over here where it says properties and with keep proportions checked, I'm going to change the width to three and I'm going to press enter on my keyboard. Okay. So I have him sized. Now it's important that you do this. Okay. You need to highlight your lantern. You need to right click and you need to ungroup it, okay? Then you need to highlight it again and click weld. And we're gonna take our spider, we're gonna click, I'm just gonna rotate him. See this little button here, or this little handle? This is the rotate button. I'm gonna rotate him, and I'm gonna bring him over here. And basically what you wanna do is you just wanna make sure that these little corners here are overlapping. Just, you know, pretend like you're a spider and pretend that you need to make sure that your spider web is nice and secure so that when we weld it it sits pretty so that looks good to me now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this button here to preview and see what it's gonna look like before I actually go and cut it out so I don't waste any paper okay so I did that and it doesn't look like it welded maybe I forgot to hit the weld button on the spider and I did okay so you have to highlight the spider and click weld and now we're going to click the preview button again and look at that. Okay, you'll see here that it's nice and welded. It's all one cut. It's all, you know, one element. It took the spider and it basically fused it or welded it to the lantern. So that's going to cut out really nice. Okay, so basically you pick out your paper. In my case, I picked out just a black AC cardstock. It's 80 pound cardstock. And uh, I'm going to delete this because we're done with this one. And just for fun, I'm gonna show you this one as well. So the same process here. Now this first step is really important. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work. You have to make sure you highlight the lantern, right click and click ungroup, okay? And now we're gonna go in and we're gonna find the other elements that I used. I used this spider web and I also used a flourish it's this one here okay so the flourish according to my information that, that I wrote down when I made this is 3.16 inches wide so I have it selected and you can tell that it's selected because it's highlighted here and I'm gonna make sure that keep proportions is checked and I'm gonna type in 3.16 okay that's the size that I want it and in my case I actually took and I rotated it I don't really think it matters which way just as long as it overlaps, okay? And that looks good. 
Okay, so and I want to also make sure that while I have it highlighted, that I go over here and I click Weld. Okay, now we're going to go and do this spider web. And this spider web needs to be 3.4 inches wide. So I have it selected in properties, keep proportions is checked. I'm going to type 3.4. And then I'm going to take and rotate this guy. And he's not going to be totally, you know, uh, it's not going to be a totally perfect angle with this you see how this is not really overlapping perfectly and that's okay it's not a big deal okay so just as long as it looks okay I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I hit weld over here okay and now let's take a look at the preview okay well that didn't work looking at the preview here this is a good thing here because we can we can troubleshoot and, and I can help you understand how to use this program a little bit better so something's not right here okay let's do this if I look at this closer it looks like maybe I didn't delete the score lines from the previous lantern okay now instead of trying to figure out where they are or clicking on this or that I'm gonna click on window and I'm gonna go to layers okay here are my layers okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start hiding some things just to get them out of the way I'm gonna hide the flourish I'm gonna hide the cobweb Okay, this layer here looks like the score lines for the lantern that I want to work with. Now this is the lantern, and there's another layer here. I can't really see it, but my guess is that it's probably the other score lines from the last lantern. I forgot to delete them, or I didn't, you know, didn't click on the right part of the window, and it didn't delete. So I'm just going to highlight this, and I'm going to hit this button here to delete that layer. And yes, I want to delete it. So now, let me see. Okay, so I'm clicking on the lantern now. And I'm going to make sure that I hit weld. Okay, which I thought I did before. But apparently, I must have hit weld on the old score layer. Okay, so I'm going to put this away for now. I don't need this anymore. And now I'm going to hit preview. Okay, and that looks okay. I don't see the other score line, so I know I deleted it right. I'm going to go back to layers and I need to turn on the cobweb and the flourish and now I'm going to hit preview and there it is. Look at that. Okay, so you see what I did there. We had a, another layer that was just kind of mixed up in there. It was the, the score marks from the previous lantern and it was messing up my whole design. And I used the layers to figure out what that was. I, I deleted it and voila, we're, we're all good. So. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to cut this layer out, or you're going to cut this part of the lantern out on black cardstock, just like I did. And uh, at that point, you're ready to start assembling.